quick disclaimer before we begin, the PEMF podcast does not contain any medical advice and the content provided is for informational purposes only. If you have any health concerns, please visit a healthcare professional. Welcome to episode 16 of the PEMF podcast. And today's episode is going to be about fatigue, having low energy or chronic fatigue syndrome and how PEMF can perhaps help you with them. Uh, I was actually inspired to make this episode for a review that we got recently through the website on the Celerate package uh, through someone who said they actually used it to increase their energy levels. So I thought it might be a great episode for people who are also maybe looking to get the same effect. Um, But you might actually be kind of wondering now, how does... PMF maybe make you have more energy, maybe you feel less fatigued uh, throughout the day. So how does it do this? Yeah, okay. So PMF therapy, when you when you break it down with um, fatigue, so something that we mention a lot in these PMF podcasts is the frequencies and how frequencies aren't massively important when it comes to treatments and all that sort of thing. And actually intensity is the, you know, is the more important feature when buying a PMF device. Actually, when it comes to chronic fatigue syndrome and low energy and um, anything to do with wanting to, you know, bring that energy back to the body or get the brain back into a state, actually the frequency is really important. So, and it's one of the things that other than sleep that is, you know, is really important to get the frequencies right when, when we're choosing a PMF device or when we're using the program on our PMF device. So if we if we have a PMF device and we're using it specifically for chronic fatigue syndrome and we're not getting the results, the problem there is you, you're probably not using it correctly. So we'll cover that in this episode. Okay, so people might now be thinking, how often am I going to actually need to use this device to get these effects and feel more energized? Is it something I'm going to have to have strapped to myself 24-7 and I can never leave my side? Or are there certain times that are good to use it or like when... How long should people be using it for throughout the day pretty much? Okay, so it depends what device you're using as to determine, you know, how often you're going to need to use that device. But actually, really, you only need to use it twice, maybe three times a day. And we're looking, we're talking about maybe a full body system. And our ultimate goal with something like this when treating chronic fatigue syndrome or just general fatigue and sleep is to reset that circadian rhythm. So if we can do that with two or three sessions a day, that's our deal. Okay, great. So you mentioned obviously what frequencies people are going to be using and that there's maybe better frequencies. So what are they for maybe feeling more energized? Yeah. So when we talk about frequencies, like I mentioned before, we, if we're trying to treat something within the body, we kind of say that the frequency is less important. We just want to get the intensity right. We want to put it on that area of the body. We want to make sure it's in the right area. We're using it as often as possible. Um, but when it comes down to chronic fatigue syndrome, it really is important on the frequencies. And a full body mat, again, is, is definitely recommended for chronic fatigue syndrome. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we're using it at the right times of day and on the right frequencies. So ideally, we get up in the morning. First thing, we want to energize ourselves. We want to get ourselves into the uh, brain state, which is either the beta or gamma. So when I talk about the brain states, um, we have a number of different brain states as to what we're doing throughout the day. So start with delta, we're generally deep sleep. Theta is very relaxed, getting ready for sleep. Alpha is being quite passive, a little bit of attention. Beta is what we're normally running at throughout the day. So that's where we're conscience, co- conscious uh, you know, we might be working, but the gamma state is really where we're like super concentrated and, and really alert. So first thing in the morning, if we can get ourselves into either a beta or a gamma state, that's going to really help our body to be more alert. It's almost like, you know, taking a coffee and PMF devices run on different frequencies. And if you can apply a frequency or if you can apply a program that runs higher frequencies in the morning, that's ideal. Then what we want to do is we want to bring ourselves back down and we want to get ourselves ready for sleep. So we need to make sure we're using a device that's using lower frequencies in the evening so that we bring ourselves back down, prepare ourselves to sleep, and then we get that restful sleep that we need throughout the night. So using a full body system, you only need to use it really twice a day, morning and evening. And if you're using a localized device and a smaller device, 
then we can apply it for longer and we can, you know, there are devices you can kind of put on your desk at work that will just run higher frequencies so that you can kind of keep yourself in that alert state. Um, again, devices for sleep, you can put on your bedside table, you can put under your pillow, which are constantly running lower frequencies, which is just reminding your brain to run at those lower frequencies. Okay, great. Uh, for anyone who wasn't sure maybe what the exact numbers were for the theta, beta, etc., cetera, uh, frequency ranges i'll make sure to put them in the description of the podcast or i'll pop them up on screen if you are on youtube and you are watching the video version of this podcast um but you mentioned intensity uh, at the start of the question does the intensity matter for this obviously we know the frequency now does how much weight does intensity play in this so frequency is a lot more important, like I said, within um, chronic fatigue syndrome. And a lot of the times actually with CFS, we would recommend a lower intensity full body system. Um, but if you have access to, and if you've bought, or if you want to spend the money and get a super high intensity device, um, actually really, really high intensity devices are very good for keeping you alert and very good for keeping you in those beta and um, gamma states. But actually they're not very good for uh, bringing you back down for the delta. So I'm talking about devices like 5,000 Gauss and above. Um, actually, you know, we sell devices like the Hugo. Um, we've uh, just recently added the Curatron Flash. And these devices run super high intensities and actually at a low frequency, but it doesn't really matter on the frequency when you're using those intensities. Um, actually, we only recommend you use those kind of in the morning or before about 3 p.m. Otherwise, it could affect your sleep that evening. Um, so, but most people aren't going to go for one of these devices for chronic fatigue syndrome. They're going to go for a lower intensity full body system. And that's what we would recommend they go for and just applying it at those right times. So again, a good full body system is around 30 Gauss or above. That's what you want to kind of be looking for when, when buying an all rounder PMF device and using it in the morning and in the evening on those right frequencies is is the key to success for the for fatigue. Okay, brilliant. Um, so you mentioned obviously finding these devices. Some people obviously do struggle quite a lot to find a device that might be perfect for them. Uh, we did this in the sleep episode as well when people seem to really like it. What kind of devices, Matt, you recommend for someone who is maybe struggling with fatigue, CFS or low energy? So, I mean, I go to this one quite a lot because it's it's an all-rounder product, but the Celerate is great for chronic fatigue syndrome because you've got the full body application. It offers 50 Gauss on the mat, uh, on the full body mat. So you've got a good level of intensity. You can apply that in the morning on a higher frequency on the morning mode, in the evening, um, on the evening program, which helps you to kind of bring yourself back down again. And it has a night mode, which you can actually pop just the device under your pillow. And that will help with um, pulling the brain into the delta state. So Celerate, again, is a, is a great all-rounder device for chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, there are another couple of other devices that we'd recommend. Again, full body. Um, the Biomag Lumina package is quite a good one for chronic fatigue syndrome because you have six defined programs on that. And we can identify which ones use higher frequencies compared to lower frequencies. So you, again, you can apply that in the morning and in the evening on a higher and a lower frequency, and it offers quite good intensities up to 350 Gauss with the smaller applicator. So again, it's a, it's a good all-rounder product. And probably my last recommendation for, for CFS can, uh, you know, specifically would be uh, the Curatron Home or Curatron XPSE devices. And again, the very well-established device has been on the market a long time. Full body systems offer really good intensities. And they have a program list which identifies ones uh, that use lower frequencies compared to higher frequencies. And if you are interested in any of these devices, they are all available on the NUMED website, um, which will be linked in the description of wherever platform you're on. Uh, we are now available on all major platforms, Amazon, Spotify and Apple Podcasts now as well. But if you do have any other questions about chronic fatigue syndrome or fatigue with PMF in general at all, please make sure to leave them in the comments of wherever you're listening uh, and we'll make sure to get back to you on that uh, either in the comment section and we maybe even answer it in our next PMF talk episode. But no matter what platform you're on as well, if you could please leave us a five-star review, that would be massively appreciated. It means we can make better episodes and get better guests on each week. 
But thanks for listening again and tune in next week for another PEMF podcast.